Hi, I'm Steph from Simplicity Happens, and today's tutorial features how to make this adorable heart-shaped face for your child's upcoming Valentine's Day and or Friendship Day holiday. If you're enjoying my videos, please subscribe to the Simplicity Happens channel. Now let's get started creating this adorable heart for this upcoming Valentine's Day and Friendship Day holiday. If you don't have time to create the heart-shaped clip art, Come on out to my website at simplicityhappens.com and subscribe, and this will be on a downloadable page with a lot of other fun activities as well. Hello and welcome. Let's get started creating our adorable heart faces for our shoe boxes for the upcoming Valentine's Day and or Friendship Day holiday. The first thing we'll need to do is open a blank PowerPoint presentation. Once that's open, we can click to remove these text boxes. And then because this is in a landscape orientation, we need to be in a portrait orientation. So let's go up to design and then over to slide size, scroll down to custom slide size and under the orientation header, we'll go ahead and click on portrait and then we'll come over here and do 8.5 in the width box and 11 in the height box. Click OK, and then click on Ensure Fit. Next, go up to View, Zoom, and in this percent window, we're going to enter 65%. Next, let's draw out a rectangle for the background on our shoebox cover. Now let's go to Insert, Shapes, and under the Rectangles heading, let's select the first rectangle. Once we see that plus sign, we can just click and drag the rectangle out. And I'm just going to make it as close as possible to the edges as I can. And then I'm gonna go up to shape format and align and align center. Next, I'm gonna choose a nice light blue color with a black outline. And I'm going to thicken that outline to about six points. Next, let's go up to insert shapes and we can scroll down under the basic shapes heading. And in the third row, we can find our heart. Go ahead and select it, and then just click and drag it out. At this time, I'm going to shape fill in a nice red color with no outline. So I'm going to go into shape outline and select no outline. And now under shape format, we can enter the dimensions. So in the shape height box, let's enter 10.83. And in the shape width box, we'll enter 8.25. Now we can just line this up here and align center. Next, let's create the eyes for our heart face. Let's go up to insert shapes. And we're going to go down under basic shapes and in the third row, let's select the very last shape. It's called the arc. We'll go ahead and select it. And then once you see that plus sign, we can just click and drag it out a bit. And let's go up to shape format. And in the shape dimensions, we're going to enter in the shape height box 0.89. And in the shape width box, we'll enter 1.12. Now we can use the circular arrow at the top and just move it to the left a bit at an angle. Come up to shape outline and we'll outline in black. And then go back in, scroll down to weight, and then scroll down to a four and a half point thickness. Once that's completed, let's bring this over 
to the left side of the heart. And we may tweak this in a bit, but let's go ahead and put the other eye on the other side by copying and pasting. So let's press down on Control C, Control V, and then come up to rotate and we'll flip horizontal. Go ahead and move the eye to the other side. And if you look closely, you'll notice those red dashes on the top and on the bottom of where the eyes are. And that just shows that they're aligned nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop off of there. And now I'm gonna go in and create some eyelashes. So let's go up to insert shapes and let's go under lines and select this first line. Once you see your plus sign, just click and drag and we'll do some little short eyelashes. So I just did a really tiny eyelash there. I'm gonna come up to shape outline and then come down to weight and down to a four and a half point thickness. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste by pressing down on Control C, Control V. And just kind of tweaking this out a little bit. Now we can select all of the eyelashes and then come up to group and group. And then this way, if you want to maneuver them, you can just come up to the circular arrow at the top, kind of just maneuver them like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste again by pressing down on Control C, Control V. And I'm going to rotate by flipping horizontally. And I'm just gonna bring this one over Next, let's create the mouth for our heart face. We'll go ahead up to insert shapes and we're going to come down under basic shapes and in the third row, we'll select the moon. Go ahead and just click and drag this out and then we'll use the circular arrow at the top to just maneuver it around a bit. And then go ahead and use the orange dot that's in the center of the crescent, and we'll just pull this up. Now let's go to shape format, and in the shape height box, we'll enter 6.17, and in the shape width box, we'll enter 3.93. Now let's go up to the shape fill, and we'll put this in a white color. And then to shape outline, we can put this in black with a thickness of six points. So go into shape outline, scroll down to weight, and then scroll down to six points. Now we can just move this to the center of the heart and up a bit. And of course, just to be sure, go to shape format, align, and align center. Now just have fun decorating the box with other clip art items you have that are Valentine's Day or Friendship Day related. I've decided to use these cute little clip art letters that I made a couple weeks ago in one of my tutorials. Next, I'll show you another option for your shoe box. The first thing we'll do is go into Insert, Shapes, and we'll scroll down under the Basic Shapes header and in the third row, we're going to choose the arc again. Once you select it, just click and drag it out. Use the circular arrow to just spin it around. And then we'll come up here to shape format and over to the shape height box, we'll enter 1.39. And in the shape width box, we can enter 1.59. Now I'll go into shape outline, I'll choose black, and then go into weight and choose a four and a half point thickness. Just gonna use that circular arrow to move it just a bit. Next, let's widen the arc by selecting it and then hovering over this white dot on the corner. 
and just stretching it out a bit. Now what we can do is select it and copy and paste by pressing down on Control C, Control V. And just making this one a tad bit shorter using that circular arrow to maneuver it around. Once you have the eyelashes where you like them, select one of them, press down on shift and control, and then click on the remaining eyelashes. Come up to shape format and then group and group. Now we can move the eye and eyelashes over to the left side of the heart. And I'm going to copy and paste by pressing down on Control C, Control V, coming to rotate and then flipping horizontally and then moving this to the other side. Now we can also change the background color. So I might make this one in purple. So there you have two adorable heart-shaped shoebox covers for the upcoming Valentine's Day or Friendship Day holiday. First, print out your heart face cover for your shoebox. Next, cut out the outline of the heart. Once you have it cut out, you can place it on top of your shoebox to make sure that it fits and then just tweak by cutting out more if need be. Next, let's cut the mouth out. Now that the mouth is cut out, I'm going to send it through the laminator. If you don't have a laminator, then it's time to skip that step and go straight to gluing this onto your shoebox. Once you've completed laminating, just cut around the heart and then cut out that lamination piece for the mouth. If you need to trim it up, you can. So I've just got it centered and I'm getting ready to glue it onto my shoebox. I'm just using a glue gun to glue the outline of the lamination. After gluing, now it's time to cut the cardboard on the lid. Here is the finished product. I just cut out the cardboard mouth, which took the longest time. I had to try to smooth out the edges with an X-Acto knife, and then I just used duct tape to put around the mouth so that it would be smooth if you're putting Valentine's Day or Friendship Day uh, goodies in and taking them out that it wouldn't be too scratchy for little hands. Um, so it's nice and smooth and it's ready for Valentine's Day and or Friendship Day. I hope you've enjoyed creating this adorable heart-shaped shoebox activity with me and stick around next week. I'll be back with another clip art tutorial. See you next time.